car, 5310, and they're boarding 5312 right now, so I think I'm next. And now I guess we go get our car. Let me show you what we're looking at. But actually, could I? Like, not really. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And there's eggs right there. I don't want the eggs to fall. Okay, here. Oh, oh. Mike and I, empty nesters officially, kind of. Officially, are we officially empty nesters? I think so, except Ryan has not gone off to school yet. He's in Florida and he will go off to school in the spring, but I think we're still considered empty nesters because we're allowed to leave. <laughs> 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 anyway, I'm jumping in the car today and I'm taking Katie's car on the auto train to Florida to move her into her apartment. She's already half moved in, she needs the other half. Choo -choo. And you, Michael, what are you doing? It's another day in which we excel, Jill. <clears throat> yes, it is. I'm going to jump on a Southwest flight to Sarasota to make sure my son, Ryan, is not playing Hooky. video games in the basement. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah, all of us are kind of under the weather. Ryan is a little under the weather. I am. Mike is. Katie is. I don't know about Brennan, but we all just sort of hit the wall. So hopefully he's getting better down there. You're gonna go check on him. I'm gonna go check on Kate, get her all moved in, and then uh, touch base with you in two days, right? Go. All right, let me know you got there okay. All right, this is what it looks like, you guys. This is my stuff, and this is all of Katie's stuff. I mean, it's not all of Katie's stuff. We'll just put this, it, this is all Katie's stuff, but it's not all of her stuff. She had like, she has a storage room down there, like a storage container or whatever you call it. She had stuff at her friend's house. She has all kinds of stuff. I'll show you when we get there. I'm gonna drive this Jeep. Whoa. All right, I'm in the car. My first stop was Chick-fil-A. I wanted to get a little bit of chicken sandwich for my drive down and then uh, I did not want to eat food, I don't think, buy food from the train. I, I'm just a little nervous about that. Not that it's not great, I'm sure it's wonderful, but I think also I'll save a little bit of money by buying food before I get there. So I bought a Chick-fil-A salad. So I'm gonna have a salad for dinner and then I have a Chick-fil-A sandwich for lunch. And I have my tea. I made some um, turmeric, wait, is it lemon, ginger? I think it's just ginger turmeric, something that is good for, you can hear my nose is a little bit stuffy. But, I also did oil of oregano, you guys. I learned that from you all a long time ago, one time when I had a cold. You all told me about oil of oregano. So I took that last night and it helped immensely. So I took a little bit of it this morning as well. And I'm ready to go. So the light is green. I will see you guys down the road. those of you who may be new to the audio train um, this is a train that goes from Virginia to Florida and you can get on and you have a seat and then your car can get on and it has a little spot on the train so you can bring your car down to Florida um, I've never done it before Katie's done it before she that's how she got her car I think from Florida to Maryland this summer is she brought the auto train up I think that's how she did it and then um yeah i'm pretty sure and now i'm bringing it back down for her because she had to go early to school for uh sorority stuff because she's on the sorority uh, recruitment committee she was like the assistant recruitment director i might have to put the phone down because i have to check in you guys hold on one second stay tuned I got to the train station about an hour early and realized while I was there that I completely forgot to bring a blanket. This ride was gonna be 15 hours and it's overnight, so there's no way I would be able to sleep overnight without a blanket, I would definitely be cold. So thankfully there was a little store there that sold gifts and travel essentials, so I grabbed a blanket there and then read some of my book and then it was time to board. All right, you guys, I'm 5310, there's just one in me. I'm C 59 in car 5310 and they're boarding 5312 right now so I think I'm next. At this point it was still about an hour before the train was scheduled to depart but it takes a bit of time to board. They boarded us first and then they boarded all the cars so we did wait in our seats for quite some time but anyway the, I'm 5310 so I just followed the signs and got on the train and this is a double-decker train you can see that up above there are 
looks like windows and seats and guess what lucky me i'm sitting upstairs which i don't know if that if everybody sits upstairs i have no idea because we didn't really explore the train too too much um but anyway i was on the second level which gave me a really great view and i had a window seat which was amazing too so happy about that We went through some of the neatest towns along the way and as we would approach a town the train would slow down and go slowly through the town and the conductor would tell us what town we were in so it was almost like a little tour as well and then um, as it got to be nighttime I was trying to film for you guys I wanted to try to like get a really because it was beautiful I could still see all the lights and this the moon and the sunset and all that out the window but it was really difficult to get that on camera but then um, you can see I opened up my computer and did a little editing. But I really could have sat there and just stared out the window all day long. It was really, really pretty. It was finally time to go to bed and I wanted to try to film myself so you guys could see how I was maneuvering myself to lay down in bed. If you can picture it, there are two train seats next to each other. So I could have either leaned the top of my seat back or the back of my seat back um, and then the forward, like there's a little foot thing that comes out from the front, so I put my feet up there, and a little bottom thing comes out, so I don't, like a recliner, like a reclining chair. So I slept that way for a little bit, but then there was nobody sitting next to me, so I'm like, okay, well, let me let me kind of try to go lengthwise, but I was too long to go lengthwise, so my feet would stick out the side, but then I put that chair back to like a recliner, and I kind of like diagonal. So that's how I slept through the night, and I I would say a pretty decent sleep, but my, you know, I was kind of out. And then by the time I woke up the next morning, I was like, wow, I'm, I'm on a train. <laughs> Where am I? All right, we detrained. I guess that's what you call it. I was asking Mike. Is it called detraining? It is. That's it, we made it here. There's another chain on the other side. I'm not sure if that's going. I got some trash in their way, hold on. And now I guess we go get our car. Let me show you what we're looking at. fun. Till next time, auto train. All right, you guys, now it's going to be a four hour and 10 minute drive to Tallahassee. Longer than I thought. I was assuming it was going to be about two, but it's going to be four hours and 10 minutes. A little bit longer probably because I go a little slower in this car because it has huge tires and it's a little bit rickety. So um, hang on. We're going to get there. Once we get there, see Katie and Brennan. And we're going to um, move Katie's stuff into her door. I'm looking forward to it. I got a pretty good night's sleep, but I'll tell you more about that later. I gotta drive. Bye. Stop at Tosco. 
got towels, eggs, toilet paper, um, curtains, meat, all kinds of stuff. Some for Brennan, some for Katie. Um, we are pretty much packed to the gills. There is nothing else. At least I can see my rear view mirror over there, which is good. I can see this one over here. And yeah, I was, I, can't. Oh, Katie, Katie, Katie. I made it, you guys. Okay. After that, it was an adventure. Wait, Such out. an adventure. Can you talk to them while I move the car back in, into a real spot? spot? Yeah. Be careful driving though, because there's a lot of stuff in there. Okay. And there's eggs right there. I don't want the eggs to fall. Okay, here. Oh, oh. It's your fuel oh. rod. Okay. It's all good. Here, I'm gonna pull this <laughs> totally into... Totally parked Hold in on. There. Oh, yeah. Got it. Okay. Three hours later. I didn't film one bit of us unpacking Katie's room. I'm gonna put pants on. Oh, shoot. Okay, all right. I do... Oh, wait, oh, <laughs> I can see you in the mirror. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys. So we spent most of the evening um, unpacking stuff for Kate's room and it's putting it all away. Unpacking stuff yes, the entire evening. It is now midnight and we are getting very close. Let me turn this around. They can't sit next to that window forever. No, they can't. Oh, where did the curtains go, by the way? I'm going to grab them and so we can okay. see if I want them. Did you wash them. your feet yet? No. <laughs> so the floor outside in Katie's apartment is very dirty so we wanted to wash our feet before we crawled into bed but anyway so this is what her room looks like so far I know it's a bad view from down here but she's gonna go get the curtains because we bought some curtains that we might put up anyway we'll show you more of it tomorrow it was kind of a whirlwind and I have to leave tomorrow at um one o'clock so we don't have a lot of time we're gonna get up early tomorrow morning and do a little bit more and hopefully get a chance to see Brennan, but we're gonna go do some shopping for food and a couple other items that we wanna get for her room and then she'll be good to go. So put like, don't open them yet. Here, we'll put them up and see if you like the color and all that Morning. We are back at it, Katie and I, doing some shopping. shopping. I would love to let this shut down, but I really just I'm so sorry about it. And normally I do. Right. There wasn't enough space for him to even turn in front of us. Right. Um, so this is the deal. Yesterday, when I was on my way down, I stopped at the Sam's Club. Nope, that's not even true. I meant to stop at the Sam's Club. I actually stopped at the Costco. And boop! And got Kate some things at the Costco. One thing that we need to return, which is some um, curtains. Can I get a Costco card? Yeah. Or a Sam's Club card. Yeah. From you so that I can get gas from yeah. there instead of spending a million dollars on gas here. Yeah. Like how much less expensive is it? It's 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 a Is great... it worth the drive? Well you have to sort of plan on going out there because it's not close. Right, but like I go semi far away at least once a week for groceries anyway. Okay. Okay. So like Yeah, um... absolutely. So yes, we can do that. We bought yesterday I bought some ground turkey, some chicken, some eggs, pasta sauce, like some of the big stuff at Costco, some for Katie, some for Brennan. So we delivered it to Katie. Now we're delivering Brennan his and a big old thing of toilet paper. Toilet paper. Which, which when you're in college, that is like gold. The toilet Tarla. paper is like gold. Nobody wants to spend money on toilet paper. So we did. Yeah, so we don't. And then it ends up being like one ply. Yeah. And, you know, it's not friendly to your behind. <laughs> but you know, I have many stories of being in college and like scraping the bottom of the barrel on a lot of things. So it's not <laughs> like, not like you guys need to live in a lap of luxury. Mom said that she, um, you didn't even, you didn't, didn't you start doing that like junior or senior year? Well, I was in a dorm freshman and sophomore year. So I guess they supplied the toilet paper, if that's what you're talking about. Yeah. And, and I had a food, like a, yeah. a meal plan. But then yeah. junior and senior year. She would find old quarters. <laughs> we lived in a house. She would find quarters at the laundromat and buy um, mac and cheese. Just macaroni. I couldn't afford cheese. I thought you I got on my bike. I, macaroni and butter. Uh oh. We had butter at home. So yeah. But I worked the whole time through college, but it's just, I don't know. You just scrape by, but that, it's built character. You're just put a hair cheapo. on my chest, Katie. I put hair on my, let me tell you. A cheapo? What do you mean a cheapo? No, no, no. I mean, like, if, like. Living on the like, cheap. I, like, could I spend more money on food? Yes. 
but actually could I like not really yeah. <laughs> like I do have to pay for tuition so it's like uh, it's like tuition right. eating depends where am I going I'm going straight you're going to Brennan's this building is new too that's where I should be right there at the edge oh. with all my girls but they don't have balconies so yeah yeah, you have a balcony. Oh, we should look on Facebook Marketplace, Katie. So uh, I don't know if I'm gonna give you a tour today. We have so much, okay, of Katie's apartment. I keep jumping ahead. We have so much to do today, and I have to be at the airport by one o'clock. So, and it's nine o'clock now. So, nine, 10, 11, 12, that's four hours. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure we're gonna get it all done. But anyway, if we can, I'll give you a tour of Katie's apartment and her balcony and all that stuff. We're gonna look on Facebook Marketplace because we wanna try to get some outdoor balcony furniture. Anyway. We don't need to do that. Okay, we'll do that at different Or you guys can do that. I, I'm gonna make everyone else do that because I'm living in house next year at Kayo. Oh, and you don't want to. So I don't want to spend money on furniture that I'm only gonna use for one yeah. year. Got it. So, can you get to live in this party house next year? That's so exciting. I mean, like, I really hope so. Yeah. <laughs> like, I yeah. really hope so. Yeah, yeah. Look how cute she is. She's all cutie. All these little people. I love it. All right, anyway, I'm gonna go because we're almost at Brennan's and maybe you'll get to see him, but he worked late, 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 late last night. So he is um, probably asleep. I should have brought him breakfast. Oh. Mm, but he probably is not ready for breakfast yet. Hey. <laughs> we did a nice job. I can't wait to eat this sandwich. Oh my gosh. We got a, what is it? It's the new Starbucks. Egg, egg pesto, pesto mozzarella mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They accidentally made me the wrong one first, so we also got that one, <laughs> which is just fantastic because I was feeling really hungry. <laughs> so I'm gonna be extra. Thanks, full. Starbucks. We got just. You know what we did just now? Right. We just went in to Target and got what we needed and left. Yeah. And that's something that. You know, we didn't get all the extras. We didn't get pulled in and sucked in by. And that's what we normally. That's what normally happens to us. So I'm proud of us. Mm -hmm. Do you mind holding this? I don't mind about. Actually, wait. I'll put it in here so you can film while I put the. Oh. Yeah. Do you want a bit of water? Sure. Okay. Here's my shower stuff. Shower curtain and liner. Let's hope it doesn't get moldy in the 30 seconds that it's sitting in my car. <laughs> it won't. Some laundry detergent. Some. Dishwash detergent and smelly good things. Oops. Smelly good things. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> Numb. And what else? My two sandwiches. Oh yeah, and oh, a hanger. And the water. Oh, this is a pants hanger. Mm-hmm. For your pants. For my pants. But maybe my skirts though. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Next up, Trader Joe's. Shoot, right. Oh, he does. Oh, it's in Aww. Now it's time to say goodbye to all the family. Or just Katie. Alright you guys, I'm back at the airport now. Getting ready to fly to Sarasota to go see Mike. And we did not finish Katie's room. You weren't even here for 24 hours. I wasn't even here for 24 hours. I know. It's a quick in and quick out. My sketch is a little bit nutty. I know you have things to do. I have like, things to do. We'll go after this last car. So, um, anyway, we're, uh, I'm heading home. Katie's room is not completely done. We still have some things to do, but I'll be back in three weeks for parents weekend. Most will probably be done by then. But if not, I'm happy to help. I'm going to have to DIY my, uh, Want me to do your wallpaper with you? I mean, I don't know if it'll... It'll probably be here before then, and I will not be able to sit there with it. Without, <laughs> without having to. Hey, I think that's my plane right there. The pink one? Yes. <gasps> Look at it. It's like a cute plane. I've flown in that before. Have I? Silver, yeah. Your very first flight back to Tallahassee in the summertime when you came to visit us in Sarasota. Was when I was silver. sick. Yes. I love you most. Mwah. I landed and Mike and I are now doing a little shop, shop, shopping. Yes, it is so beautiful. Okay, I am a humid girl. I love humid. Oh gosh, I guys, I have to put these back on. I love humidity. Do you like humidity, Mike? No. No, I'm a big fan. So comment down below, you guys. Let me know if you like humidity. Either you love it or you hate it. Some, like you're very rarely like ambivalent about it. 
Me, I love it. It's so good for your skin. Not so much for my hair, but my hair's gotten better. It's not as humid anymore. With the right <laughs> products, you can make it not that's frizzy. Uh, that's what happens by, yeah, I get this off all my frizziness. Oh, yes, your hair gets all frizzy. Gets it. big, exactly. All right, so Ryan got a new job, so we're just stopping by to visit him at work. And he probably, no, he doesn't know we're coming. So we're just gonna pretend that we're just regular shoppers. He works at a retail store. Stay tuned. Thank you. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, my All right, I have to stop the video right here because we snuck up on Ryan and I got the best video in the whole wide world of him like looking up, realizing it was us from across the store and then like his reaction was priceless. I laughed for probably a good 60 seconds but then I just realized right now as I'm starting to edit that I wasn't videoing. I was looking through my camera, but I wasn't videoing. And instead, I videoed the camera going down, and that's what you're seeing right here. So the next clip, I reference Ryan's reaction, but you can just imagine. Maybe we'll recreate it. Hold on. That was so awesome for Ryan. <laughs> that was probably one of the best videos I've ever seen. I started laughing hysterically. Anyway, so we just met with him at work a little bit, visited with him. He's got a beautiful store over there. Now we're going to do a little bit more returning. Mike, you've got a pair of shorts he needs to exchange. A little short. Well. I have beautiful legs, Jill. You do, but I think your shorts were too short for, you know, our... Short shorts? Yeah, they were too short. You want to see So we're trying to... Ex no, guys, short, short shorts? Well, maybe. You're not old. It's not that. <laughs> Just too short for our age, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> and I'll stop into Trader Joe's, get some... Hey, it's sushi fig. night at Publix. Oh, that's right. It's Wednesday. We and it. we need to get some fig and olive crackers. The All best. right. Oh. 